everyone. So the other day I had a video talking about a psychic technique that I learned from an Edgar Casey ARE class, but today's video is a little different. I don't know if some of you know, but most of Edgar Casey's readings were on health, holistic health. And it's something that I studied a lot over the years. And primarily I was driven to do that because I suffered from a lot of allergies and also general fatigue and even migraines caused by allergies. And I went the conventional medicine route. I took a lot of different meds and um, I even tried immunotherapy, which didn't help. So I resorted to looking for alternative therapies to help with my allergies. And I came across Edgar Casey, and I kind of started implementing some of the treatments that he recommended for people he was reading for. So today I'll talk about some commonalities that are found in um, the Casey readings regarding health. So we'll be discussing assimilation, elimination, and I'll put detox in there with it, osteopathic treatment, and spiritual ideal. So first, assimilation. Assimilation is basically the breaking down of food um, and digestion. So Casey recommended a few things for us to do in terms of diet. And there were other specific things, but that depended on the ailments. But this is just general for um, general well-being. So number one, he recommended that people drink six to eight glasses of water per day, at least. And also he um, suggested that people should get as much uh, fresh fruit and vegetables as possible and preferably grown like locally. And I think that has to do a lot with um, being in residence with the place you live. So if you're living in like a colder climate, you don't want to take in a lot of food from like a warmer climate because that, um, that'll put your body out of balance with where you're currently living. So he recommended that. He also said that eating meats were fine, but um, to limit the intake and also to not eat too many starches with meat. So like if you're having some sort of meat dish and then you eat potatoes with it he wouldn't recommend that you have like bread and macaroni and cheese and a lot of other like carbohydrate rich foods and another thing that Casey talked about was like limiting certain um, food combinations for example like with coffee he um, primarily said that it would be best to have it black but sometimes you could have it with a little bit of milk and cream and also with if you're taking in citrus fruits he recommended that you don't take that with coffee at all but you can't have citrus fruits with um, cereal like for breakfast if you like and another thing that he recommended was um, to avoid eating uh, sugar starch combinations so all the things that I really like like the sweets um, he said it would be best to avoid that sort of food so Casey talked a lot about the importance of proper eliminations and he recommended colonic irrigation for several readings. Um, there are places that do colonics, but a lot of people are a little uncomfortable with that. Um, another alternative would be to do enemas and you could kind of Google and see what type of solution would work for you depending on the goals that you're trying to achieve. Now let's get into a little bit about detoxes. Um, Casey mentioned the apple diet in several readings and that's one of my favorites. Basically you eat apples, only apples for three whole days. You can have black coffee too if you like. And they're supposed to be genitating apples. So something like Red Delicious. And so you would eat as many apples as you like for three whole days. And then at the end of the night, on the third day you take uh, I believe they said a heaping spoonful of olive oil. I'm not sure exactly how much that is. So I typically take one to three tablespoons of olive oil and that's supposed to kind of like flush my system. And I really love this method because I also use it when I'm going into a longer term fast, like a water fast or even a juice fast. It kind of helps me ease into the fast a little better so I don't have too many like detox symptoms the first couple of days of fasting. And another method Casey recommended for detoxing was castor oil packs. So basically you take wool flannel 
and you fold it in half and then you saturate it with uh, castor oil that's been warmed and you place it over your admin, abdomen <laughs> um, and then I like to wrap like saran wrap around so it stays in place and then you're gonna place like a heating pad or a water bottle on top and you stay like you want to lay down so in order to make sure you don't get castor oil wherever you're laying like on your bed or your couch you want to put down like some kind of plastic sheeting or even a trash bag is fine and I usually put like a towel over it too for more comfort and then you just lie there 45 minutes to an hour sometimes I like to just go to sleep like that so wrapping is uh, really good so then you know you're not gonna get castor oil everywhere and then uh, once you're done, you will wipe off the excess oil off your body and then use a baking soda and water solution to kind of clean everything up. And that's pretty good. You'll do that on and on for about three, four days and then you'll stop and then you'll, you could continue to do that like another three, four days. So basically those are a couple of remedies that Casey recommended to get your system back into balance. Um, and, but you don't want to do both of those things at the same time. So he only recommended doing like one at a time. Now let's talk a little bit about osteopathic treatments. So osteopathic medicine is not as common, but they are um, around. And it's basically a system where the whole body is treated instead of just treating the symptoms. And Casey really recommended this to a lot of people because he noticed that people had a lot of spinal misalignments and it was causing um, like their conditions. And you wouldn't think from the moment, like these people weren't having like um, major pain in their spine or anything or slip disc, nothing like that. But they did have like minor misalignments that were causing like pressure on certain nerve points that were causing their ailments. So he recommended osteopathic treatment. And if you think about it, osteopaths do something similar to what chiropractors do. They do a lot of manipulations like on muscles and tissues too. So that's another thing that Casey mentioned. Okay, and finally, I want to talk about spiritual ideal. And this is big. I could do like a whole video on spiritual ideal itself. So Casey always stressed the importance of body, mind, and spirit combination and making sure that all three of those were in balance so that you could live your best life. And the spiritual ideal is basically setting like your purpose, you set it, what you're living for, and that's going to propel everything that you do. So similar to like a, a mantra, you could think about it, or a company's mission statement, what's the purpose? So he really emphasized the importance of setting your own ideal. And then in addition to that, other things he suggested was meditation and prayer. So those are really important things and I might do a separate video on that later. So by studying the Casey readings, I started incorporating a lot more like natural therapies and those kind of things. And some things that I do now I want to talk about, like for products that I use, I try to use like natural soaps. I really like Dr. Bronner's. I also use like natural toothpaste such as like Redmond's Earth Paste. Um, the spearmint one, I believe, doesn't contain xylitol if you don't want xylitol. And like deodorants, I switched over from conventional to using like the crystal, there's like salt deodorants. And sometimes if I want like the stick kind, I like Schmidt's uh, lime and bergamot, I like that scent. Um, I did try like Tom's, but I was allergic to it. So you kind of want to be aware too, like if you have a lot of allergies, you want to be kind of careful with um, some of the natural products because it may um, you may be allergic to it. So things like that I've incorporated and also um, I started supplementing too because a lot of our foods nowadays are um, doesn't contain as much nutrition so I take a multivitamin and also um, for my allergies, I started taking quercetin, and it's really been helping. It's an antioxidant. I take a blend with vitamin C, and it seems like a lot of vitamins work well when you combine it with vitamin C, so I take that. And also with the allergies as needed, like if I'm uh, coming in out from a day outside and I notice like the pollen counts are high, I'll do like nasal irrigation. So it's just um, warmed water with a saline solution and I'll just rinse down my sinuses. Um, I don't recommend doing that if you're stuffy though, cause you don't want um, 
all that water to like stay in your sinuses because that could cause problems too but that's a really good method and don't do it before you go to sleep too because then your head will be back you don't want you want to do it like maybe when you come out come inside from being outside and um and let's see what else with the allergies yeah that's really helped because before gosh my allergies were so bad i had to take i already mentioned earlier i took meds i took um the allergy shots and it still wasn't helping and i still have like some over-the-counter medicine as needed like if it gets really bad, because I could kind of tell, like if the, my sinuses don't clear up and it's congested for several days and the pressure keeps building up, I'll start getting um, like a migraine. I can feel a migraine coming on. So in that case, like if it's something like that, I'll resort to um, using the medicine so I could go ahead and knock it out so I don't have to be on antibiotics. Because antibiotics itself can pose um, a lot of issues. Like if you take a lot of antibiotics, you're... Um, gut like flora and those kind of things get off balance so if you take a lot of antibiotics i suggest taking probiotics to counter it after you're done with the antibiotics and what else oh back to the uh, vitamins that i've been taking uh, occasionally i'll also take uh, msm which is organic sulfur and also a combination of that with vitamin c as well and that's really good too if you have um like some joint pain that could kind of ease it too it's an anti-inflammatory as well so those are some of the things that i've incorporated into my life to you know better my health um if you have anything that you do that you want to share with others please leave so in the comments and i will see you next time bye